over on this side. Greg, it's a 1939 Ford Coupe without reading on the car. Or, I mean, tell us a little bit about the building. Troy Land, ladies and gentlemen, tell us about this build. This for Pat Gaunt is, is the owner of the car. You are the builder. Tell us a little bit about the genesis of it. Uh, where do you want to start, man? Um, it's, it's basically a completely redesigned 32 Ford-ish car uh, based on a lot of Bugatti design cues, a lot of European sports car stuff. If you look at the car, all of the proportions have been changed a little bit from more European style standards. Um, we started with, as far as the body, you'll notice the cowl to the windshield to even the back window, everything is speed and split. So it, it gets kind of crazy. We changed even the cowl to the hood section to match the angle of the door because we think lines all have to work together. And that's just the body. And the, the, the chassis is also hand built. Uh, all stand, um, by hand, bent, radiused, eighth inch steel, no, no 90 degree corners, everything swoopy and, and round, but in a vintage way. Uh, suspension is we made up, it's a uh, quarter, double quarter elliptical like a vintage race car. There's um, owner um, cockpit controlled suspension dampening, that's 30s style, they call it telescoping, you can see it on the, on the, on the shocks. But uh, it's a vintage 30s shock system that you have knobs on the, um, in the interior to change your dampening if you're racing. This, this is a race car style build. And you'll notice motor mounts, um, doors, that operating function, back to stainless, so there's no doodads or doohickeys on here that's for no reason. The Ford body, why the Cadillac engine? Because they're cool. Best answer ever. This whole car is cool. If you guys haven't looked at it, every time you look at this car, you're going to find something else different on it, like you said, the front suspension. Troy, congratulations. Oh, also, uh, uh, Mick Jenkins uh, did the paint, and Mark Lopez did the interior. Can't, I can't do this without those guys, so I've got to, got to throw them out there, too. So. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Troy. All right, number four, 2022 Street Rod Delegates finalists. Here is Monty Belcham from Houston, British Columbia. 32 Ford Roadster. He was a 2020 Amber Award winner, which is America's most beautiful roadster at the Grand National Show. Street Hot Rod is a builder. How you doing, buddy? Really good. Tell us about the build. So the thing started out, this is this car and that other car up here, the red one, were both owned by Nick Sharon, both builders. I purchased this car, never had a flaw on it, but I wanted to rock with both planes. I chased the planes the first time from a place in Arnhemport, Ontario. I offered the guy to get the car, couldn't, couldn't, he wouldn't do it, kept it, wanted to drive it, one way. Found his car in 2018, April. Uh, good guys. Seen it, walked around it, tried to figure out why it looks that much different. And I seen it, it was good. So when was the car built? When was the car built? Switch mics here. When was the car built? We did the car in 2018 to 2020. The night before, the night before 2020, we were trying to get it going, wouldn't go, wouldn't go, and we ended up having to change the fuel pump. So I was hoping it wasn't an omen, but it went good. Nice. Who did the paint and the flames? Uh, Doug Jerger did it in speeches. Very nice. Money motion, ladies and gentlemen. Number four. Woo! 2022 Street Ride Delegates Finals presented by McGuire, Sonny Freeman. Sonny? Sonny, there you are. Sonny Freeman, give it up for Sonny. First of all, tell me about, I talked to you a little bit about it. Tell me about the color, the color choice on this hot rod. 32 3 window coupe. Oh, his name Blind Dave, so I don't know a lot about it. <laughs> you just write the checks. Yeah, well, no, more than that. Albert was from Mike, you know, seven cars for us over the years and all. A long time, the first car to do it was seven cars then. Albert told me as a young man, probably 12 years ago, he said, you know, Mr. Sonny, if I can do it for a car, I'd be a happy person the rest of my life. Well, so we built a bunch of cars and all, and the last time I bought this car, probably six years ago, I took a trip and set the back of my shop. We got stolen on a couple years ago, and we're going to have to get the car back in the shop. We got stolen on a couple of years ago, and we're going to have to get the car back in the shop. We got stolen on a couple of years ago, and we're going to have to get the car back in the shop. We got stolen on a couple of years ago, and we're going to have to get the car back in the shop. Beyond my comprehension. Well, I got a child in college with a test. I said, Dave, years ago, I don't know if you remember, you told me about the car that's in the 32 Ford. I like to challenge it. 
with the building the golf, like you would build the golf on top of the building. He said, Mr. Trump, you can do that? Oh, my God, yeah, after all the years, it's true. And uh, he said, under one condition, what's that? He said, you won't see the car, I'm telling you the truth. Let me do whatever I'm sure. Done deal. And here it is, and his wife just named it the Bond Baby, but I had nothing to do with the car. <laughs> and what are your thoughts on the vehicle? Oh, Slick, clean, smooth, not bad ass motor in it. I love the sound. Other than that, Calvin can tell you everything's moving on. Slick, clean, and smooth, Woo! and it's got a bad ass motor. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sonny Freeman. Woo! Oh, hey, Elvis. Spike from McGuire's, ladies and gentlemen, is going to crown the 2022 Street Rod D'Elegance. Drum roll, please. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, after lifting them over, I'm going to have to go with this bill. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you got to open it up. You got to read it. <laughs> Pat, gone. Troy Black, congratulations. Thank you so much. I, 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 you know what? I don't think I have anything to say, but thank you. I don't believe that. Come on. Give, give us more shout outs. Tell us about it. Um, it's been, it was a six year build, and it was one of those deals where I worked with Pat, and he's out of Texas. And uh, it was kind of like the gentleman was talking about at the end. He let me kind of do whatever we wanted to do. So we keep talking about this car. We didn't leave anything on the table. Everything I could think of. Is kind of in this car for what this car is, and so um, we're really proud to be able to do all of this kind of wacky stuff. For I mean, it's kind of wacky for a thirty two, and we understand that, but we like it. So wacky but stunningly beautiful. Everything works, like you said. The interesting front shocks, the interior, fantastic. Thanks, thanks. I mean, we're, I'm really like, I don't know. <laughs> it's a little bit clumped, but promise. Hollywood Hot Rod, Troy Ladd, congratulations.